Okay, I got a question from Keith. He says this, I've just finished 40 workouts on easy strength. I did two sets of five in the deadlift, bench press, and one arm kettlebell row. I also did loaded carries and worked up to one set of 10 on my knees with the ab wheel. The ab wheel and I are not friends. I don't thank you, Keith. I have definitely gained strength and feel good. I've also dropped five kilos in body weight in that time. So for my Americans, the guy dropped 11 pounds lifting weights. That's awesome. So I was thinking rinse and repeat, right? This time I increased, uh, uh, I am interested in the two week rotation of exercises and even easier strength. My question is, in the e even easier strength article, you talk about performing squats and suggest changing the exercise up uh, every two weeks like the other exercises. I also know you suggest that squats for some reason don't really work on easy strength. Am I missing something? Yeah, um, yeah, you're, you're looking at something I wrote in what, 2011 versus something I wrote in 2023. That's 12 years of experience, 12 years of testing. Um, squats are hard to work in easy strength. Uh, they just are. Um, I talk uh, I, in the book, Easy Strength Omni book, available at danjohnuniversity.com slash bookstore. Uh, I, I give you three whole chapters on why I don't think they work. And then another chapter on how to make them work, maybe. Uh, it's just for most of the North Americans I work with and some of the Europeans, we're not built to squat. Uh, yeah, we squat, we're just not built for it. Um, so for a lot of us, the squat takes two sets of five with a, a reasonable weight takes out way more than and, and, and have to do that the next day, the next day, the next day doesn't work. Uh, you're not missing anything. Um, I also talked earlier in the podcast here about the push, pull, hinge, squat continuum. I'm not born to squat. I'm born to pull. I can deadlift. I can snatch. I can snatch, deadlift, swing, clean, five, six, seven, ten times a week and come back for more. But if I have to squat, clean, and squat, snatch, and front squat, I need time off. That's me, but it's also a lot of people I work with. So that's why we pulled that out. Uh, should I add squats or continue with push, pull, hinge, and just use a squat in the warm-up? That is what I recommend in the book. I use the gobble squat overhead squat combo in my first 40 workouts. I, you know, I think that's, I think that's great. I, I, I got to tell you, in fact, uh, gentle listeners, for those you don't, I got this exercise called the gobble squat to overhead squat where it's just you do a goblet squat, then basically you just uh, overhead squat a broomstick. and it, But it really does work your flexibility and mobility. Um, it really lubes the, the, the squatting movement and, you know, the overhead. I mean, so your shoulders and your hips get a great warm-up. Um, so I think that's a great way to warm up for this. Um, yeah, I would stick to what you're doing. Let's put, and there's this one last little part here. I'm 50 years old and work shifts. Um, so, and, and then he mentions, I wish I'd have known this 20 years ago. But at 50 working shifts, this is a pretty good little program. I would say one thing, and I, uh, Keith, uh, make sure you're getting your walking in, okay? Make sure you're getting your walking in. So if you can, after those workouts, get a little walk in, especially uh, post 50, okay? Um, this is great. I hope I answered your question. Um, but it's oh, easy strength questions are almost universally answered by <laughs> do it. You know, it's not always the best answer. All right. Thank you.